Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism, No Contribution, with this video. So, we woke up to the world on fire once again. Who didn't see this coming? Like, this is bad. Like, what's going on in Israel is bad. I'm just put it right out there. I don't think we should do a goddamn thing about it. I am, regardless of who it is, I am sick and tired of getting involved in other people's battles. You know, we, Biden released $6 billion to Iran, who's obviously funding what's going on over there. You know, and I feel bad for the, I feel bad for the, the citizens who are getting, who are getting slaughtered and murdered on both sides. Okay, but I have very limited sympathy for a nation that has sent over a hundred plus cargo plane where it loads of weapons to Azerbaijan so they can continue with genocide on Armenians. Does that mean that I think it's okay what's going on in Israel? No. Does that mean that I know everything that's going on and the plot inner, inner workings? No. But since World War I, us getting involved in foreign conflicts has come back to bite us in the ass every single fucking time. Let them fight it out, and then we'll deal with whoever wins. Okay, this isn't something that can be negotiated. This isn't something that's going to just go away. Well, I mean, not with Biden in charge. You know, with Trump... You were having peace accords, the Abraham Accords. There was peace in the Middle East. This shit wasn't going down. Now you got grandpa fucking scrambled brains in there. And the world is on fire. And it's going to continue to be on fire and burn. Not a month, a month ago. A month ago, they released $6 billion. Give it to, for Iran. It's not U.S. tax and it's not taxpayer money. We didn't send taxpayer money to Iran, and I'm not defending Iran, and I'm not defending releasing the money. It was Iran's money in the first place that we had seized and held. Should they have gotten it back? Fuck no. Fuck no. For how they treat people and how they treat women and the whole job thing. Fuck no. But the entire region is on fire. It is a mess. And it is a region that became a mess not because we had gotten involved. Those are all ex-European uh, colonies. Iran, Iraq, all of it. All of it. The entire Middle East. North Africa, Central Africa, South Africa. They were all conquered by the British, the English, the French, the Italians. All of it. And yet, now here, here comes dumb United States. Here, you know, trying to sell weapons, trying to bring democracy to people that don't want it, don't know what to do with it. Pieces, pieces, peace, war is peace. I mean, like, it's just stay out of it. And again, this isn't, I'm not supporting what's going on in Israel. I don't think it's right. I don't think I'm anti-war completely, but I am not going to take up and start crying for a nation who is funding a second genocide against my against my people against Armenians who my entire family was nearly eradicated in 1915 in the first genocide that's barely acknowledged in the first place Israel and I've showed it to you, I showed it to you in one of my past videos Israel has sent 100 plus cargo plane loads of of, of weaponry to Azerbaijan and now we're talking about supplying supplying Israel with more weaponry. Well, maybe they should ask Azerbaijan for a couple of those planes back hmm, of weapons. Maybe that. Maybe everybody needs to stop fucking with everybody. That's the Palestinians. That's Damas. That's Iran. That's Hezbollah. That's Israel. That's every. That's the United States. That's everybody.
and especially the United States, because every time we try to bring the democracy to somebody, it blows up in our faces. Every time we try to step in to save people, it blows up in our faces. Did we have to get involved in World War II? Yeah, we did. Why did we have to get involved in World War II? Because we couldn't stay out of World War I. If we had stayed out of, again, if we had stayed out of World War I and had just let it end in a stalemate, there would have been no Weimar Republic. There would have been no, no sanctions against Germany in the first place. There would have been no rise in 1933 of Hitler and fascism and the lot of it. There would have been none of it. And we wouldn't be where we are today. It is sad, it is unfortunate, it is really disturbing to see the videos that are coming out, that are coming out of, uh, out of Israel and the Middle East. But we should, be, I mean, this should be a lesson. Stop involving. And we won't. We won't. And here's the thing. We just threw McCarthy out, of, out, out because he wanted to fund Ukraine. So now the next speaker is gone. What's going to happen is the next speaker is going to have to give unfair Unfettered support for Israel. Unfettered support, whatever they need, weaponry. And here we are, where they're getting the war they wanted anyway. Because they've been wanting to go to war with Iran for fucking decades. So if they can't get their war, they can't get their proxy war through, through Ukraine, they'll get it through Israel and Iran. And who's one of Iran's allies right now? Russia. So they're going one way or another, they're going to figure out how to go to war, how to waste more taxpayer money funding foreign fucking conflicts. This is what is going to happen. I don't care who wins over there. I really don't. I just don't want to be involved with it. I don't care. Listen, and as even though I'm, I'm talking about what's going on in, in, in Azerbaijan with the, ethnic, with the Armenian genocide, I still don't think, I don't want the United States getting involved in it. I don't, and it's unfortunate, I will call it out. But now we're going to have to send more weaponry to Israel. Why don't they ask Turkey for some of that help? Why don't they ask their partner in crime in Azerbaijan for some of that help? Why don't they ask Azerbaijan to send back a couple of the plane loads of weaponry they sent to them to pull off a second genocide on Armenians? And that's not me saying that they deserve what's happening to them, that the, that the Israelis, that the Jews, that the Jewish citizens over there deserve what's happening to them. I am not. Two things could be true at the same time. And all this is, the, the, this new world order, these, the, these fucking neocons and these neolibs are going to get their war come hell or high water. Don't think what happened with McCarthy this week doesn't have something to do with this. It does. Because, the, because whoever the new speaker is going to be is not going to become the speaker if they're giving any more money to foreign wars. And what do you get? Three, four days later, after they oust this guy, Israel under the worst attack that you've ever seen. How did they get in? Like, what happened to the Iron Dome? What happened to all these missiles and this weaponry and the Mossad and the Israeli intelligence agencies? They're, they're taking over Israeli bases, military bases. And I understand it's a holiday. It's a holy day over there. But... Holy days, everybody knows holy days are prime days for terrorist attacks. So why would there be, there should be, there's always more staffing. There's more diligence on those, on, on those type of days, not less. They're trying to get their war come hell or high water. And they don't care if they got to go through Russia, Ukraine, Iran, they got to fight somebody. The world is on fire. So I'm going to leave it there before I get completely thrown off the internet. And I'm sure I'm going to be called an anti-Semite again and, and whatever, because unless you just give unfettered support to Israel, you know, you're an anti-Semite.
you're not allowed to point out, you know, anything that, that they do. Believe me. And they've done plenty. As has the Palestinians, Hamas, Hezbollah. I am not I am not giving anybody a pass here. Everybody's got dirt. Everybody's got dirt. Everybody's got blood on their hands, and especially the United States. You release six billion dollars knowing knowing they said it at the time. Well, we realize it's probably going to be funding some some terrorist attacks. Oh gee, no shit. No shit. I, there's more than, to what, than what's going on here than meets the eye. I'll tell you that, and it's just, it's sad, and it's it's sad for the entire for the entire world. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching, everybody, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you want to get your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you need you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to follow both my channels on Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.